How's it going guys? This week to get into the Halloween spirit, I'm going to be making an electric chair lawn decoration. If you guys want to see how this project is made, as well as a free set of plans, stay tuned and I'll be glad to show you. For the electric chair build, I'm going to start by cutting out all my wood over on my table saw. If you don't have one though, you can make all these cuts on a chop saw or a circular saw. Now with all my pieces cut out, I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling the chair. And for this, I'm gonna be using pocket hole screws. So now with one side of my chair built, I want to go ahead and do the same process for the other side. So then I have a total of two sides that are matching. And from here we can go ahead and connect them together. So at this point, the frame of the electric chair is all done. I can go ahead and start adding the slats for the seat and backrest. The only issue is the drain plug valve on my air compressor just blew out, so it's not holding any compression, which means I can't use my nail gun. I was then gonna switch to hammer nails, but I quickly realized that it's not gonna fit in there. So I was also gonna switch to a screwdriver at that point, but that's also not gonna fit in between these armrests here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead, add glue, clamp them in place, and that should be plenty of strength. Now one thing to note, all these slats might not drop in nice and smooth, and that's because they have a few obstacles in the way, just like on the front here. So all you have to do is just notch out the corners of them, and then they'll fit in nice and easy. So I have the bottom slats all glued and clamped in place. While that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this back area. Now I can't really get down to here that well, so I'm just gonna skip that for now and then I'll do this top half and I can come back to this bottom part and glue and clamp those in place.
So while the paint dries on the chair, I can go ahead and start working on the head portion of this. And for that, I just bought some flexible conduit and it came with some adapters that are gonna come in nice and handy. And I also picked up one of these clamp lights and I'm just gonna go ahead and start taking these all apart and forming the head portion. I'm gonna start with the clamp light. The first thing I can do is go ahead and take off this nut here. And I can go ahead and get rid of all this stuff. And with that clamp off, I can just go ahead and remove the actual electrical piece. And that leaves me with just this cone and that's all I want from here. Now let's go ahead and take apart this. So in here, the main things that I want is gonna be just one of these fittings. It doesn't really matter which one. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one since that has a lower clearance. Now this did have a few threads sticking out, but I just went ahead and cut that off. So that way when it fits inside here, it's not possibly going down and poking your head. And then of course, I'm gonna want all this tubing that goes along with it. So at this point, I don't need the hose right now. I can set that aside. What I wanna do is epoxy this adapter piece into the light canister, and that's gonna allow me to clip in the hose. Once the fitting in the shop light is fully cured, you can go ahead and take this outside for painting. At this point, I'm also gonna be painting my hose. And one thing I wanna point out is that I cut out a small portion on each side, because I'm gonna make this look like two separate hoses that come together as one, and I needed to cut that out so it could all fit back together and still slide in that fitting. So I think I got it to the point where it needs to be. I can go ahead and take this outside and paint it but I'm also gonna be painting these hole straps. I got two of them for the legs and these are just gonna clamp on and lock around. Now I need to add some magnets to these, but I'm gonna do that after I'm done painting as well. And then I got two more smaller ones that will go around the arms. And what I had to do was just bent them so that they uh, can kind of slide on each side of the two by threes. But we can go ahead and take all the stuff outside and give it a nice coat of silver spray paint. And now that I have everything painted, I can go ahead and start assembling the rest of the chair. And that wraps it up for the electric chair build. If you guys like this video, as always, give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for more woodworking videos almost every Tuesday. And if you like projects like this, stay tuned for the next couple of weeks because I have a few more Halloween projects coming. Until next Tuesday, I'll see you guys then.